Hello and as always a very warm welcome to everyone joining us here as the road to qualification continues for Germany's under 21s as they look to book their place in Slovakia for the 2025 European Championships. Their opponents today are from Estonia who are bottom of the group still looking for their first win. Germany coming into this as clear favourites as they take on Estonia here in Paderborn. First up, time for the national anthems. So there we have it, plenty of fans in attendance here inside the home deluxe arena here in Paderborn. Match day three for Germany. We have been able to put together two wins already, a perfect start to the group stage for them. After beating Kosovo away from home, a 3-0 win there, a 3-2 win away from home. In their second game against Bulgaria. This their first test in front of a home crowd. Currently sitting second in the group. Behind Poland. Poland have played four games though. Four wins from those four games. As we look at Germany's starting lineup. And yet one name that surely stands out for everyone. Yusufa Mukoko. The BVB striker who has been in sensational form for the under 21s. 11 goals in nine appearances for the number nine already. And they'll be looking to him to find the back of the net against Estonia here as well. Who are not bottom of the group anymore. As Israel taking sixth place now. Estonia currently in fifth place. Still looking for their first win though. Having played four games already as the uh, Sander Post team. Have struggled in the group stage. They've only scored one goal in their four games so far. Total of 11 attempts on target in those four games as well. So can create chances, but just struggle to take them. Something they'll be looking to improve on here, but up against a very stiff competition, Germany. Definitely favourites in the group along with Poland. Should be a great battle between those two sides to see who does finish atop of the group. Germany do have the advantage of games in hand, of course, having only played two games. Their game against Israel postponed for 
clear reasons. Interesting to see exactly how they take on this Estonia team. What kind of a start they get off to. Action is underway here. Germany looking to get the ball forward very early. Which is uh, a pleasant sight actually. Winning the ball back straight away. Opening seconds, Germany starting with real intent already. I'll take you through their lineup one more time. Noah Atabolo in goal. The back four from left to right of Nathaniel Brown. Dardai and Siebert in central defence with Morgala in the right back position. Nelen Röhl. Eric Martel, the captain, and Maximilian Bayer, the three in midfield. And Ansgar Knauf, plucking the ball out of the air beautifully there. Out on the left wing, Yusufa Makoko leading the line in the middle. With Brian Gruda out to his right. Here is Morgala, the ball inside, Martel. Germany knocking the ball around very nicely and confidently in these opening stages. As for the visitors, they start with Kibila in goal, Hussar, Weyer, Viering and Sotsugov from right to left, making up their back four. Leoke, Tebeli, Palomets and Mihailov, and four across midfield. With Silama and Lutz, the two players up front. A promising start this from Germany. Piling the pressure on early. Ansgar Knauf happy to let that one run out of play for a Germany throw it. Estonia's only point of the group stage so far. Coming in early September, a home one all draw against uh, Bulgaria. The biggest defeat coming in their last outing against Poland, in Poland as well. On the receiving end of a 5 0 thumping there. The, uh, looking for a reaction here today against Germany. Now uh, it is a big ask. Lovely ball into Mokoko. He's able to turn. There's Yusufa Mokoko. Past two defenders. Ball still with the BVB striker. One touch too many perhaps in the end, but Germany still on the ball here. Mokoko once more. Estonia struggling to claim possession for themselves. Able to get an interception in here or there. Unable to hold on to the ball. Now perhaps a chance to break away. It's a good pressure and uh, probably a smart foul in the end. By Nathaniel Brown. He's going to have to get back into position quickly though as Stania finds space out on the right wing. Taking the free kick quickly. Germany able to deal with the danger. It's a very energetic start from both teams here. It's making for an entertaining game already with just under four minutes gone. Siebert trying to spread it out onto the right wing there, looking uh, for Gruda. Just slightly ahead of the Germany winger. Antonio Di Salvo. His third game in charge since taking over in September. Third competitive game anyway.
risky play there from the Estonian goalkeeper Kivila. There's a furious pace to this game already from both teams to be fair. But Germany right from the get-go looking to take the game to Estonia. You see from the kickoff and, and throw-ins and everything of that sort as well looking to get the ball back into play as quickly and swiftly as possible Jamil Siebert put under pressure deep in his own half Siloma very close to the German central defender there trying to uh, force the mistake okay, Fortuna Dusseldorf Defender able to uh, come up with the goods there. There's Otto Boll. Currently with SC Freiburg. Playing his 12th game for the under 21s. Very much a, a modern day goalkeeper. Good with his feet. Which is more and more what teams are looking for these days. Gone are the days of. Simply hoofing the ball forward. It's all about playing out from the back. Same can be said for central defenders as well, I suppose. The closing down by Mukoko. fair to Estonia not showing Germany any respect whatsoever doing their best to try and match their pace their energy their enthusiasm has been a good start to the group stage for Germany to be any criticism I suppose you could say at times they have been a little slow to get going at the start of games perhaps the reason why they've been so eager to get off to a very quick and bright start here and once they've uh, found their rhythm in past games they've pretty much dominated proceedings trying to dominate early on here Ball out wide, Morgala sends the ball into the box, hard and low. It's cleared at the near post by Vering. to pick out Röhl, Röhl with the shot and off the crossbar an absolute bullet from the uh, number eight picked out very well by uh, Gruda and the uh, Freiburg midfielder puts his laces through it just never dropped for him really was always on the rise and just clips the top of the crossbar the first big chance of the game falls to Germany Saki from Kazakhstan, the referee in charge of proceedings here this evening. As Germany come hunting for the opener again. Kept alive by Mokoko. Still Mokoko taking on the entire Estonian defence. One defender too many in the end as the ball is put out of play on the far side. For a Germany throw it. Germany just starting to uh, take control of things a little now.
Ruda on the move, not quite on the same page as Yusufa Mokoko there though. Expecting the BVB man to make that run forward. Instead, he just put the brakes on any sort of a run. He was expecting the ball into his feet rather than ahead of him. Six goals in two games so far in the group stage. Total of 28 attempts, 15 of those on target. I've seen a lot of the ball already. So dances his way past a few opposition players. Spreads it out into that left flank for Ansgar Knauf. Very nicely indeed. And in turn runs into trouble. Ball one back and one back fairly according to the referee here. Gruda into Mukoko. Mukoko gets the shot off and it's off the woodwork again. Danger not over yet though. Whipped back across the face of goal. Martel, Morgala, a little too much height on the second delivery, and it's uh, put out of play in the end. Henry Lioka. Putting it out for a throw, but the whistle then going, and pushing his back. And a lovely footwork there from uh, Mukoko. Does everything right. Creates that little angle and a gap. It just wouldn't curl inside the post instead. Just clips the outside of it. Second time Germany have hit the woodwork. And it's just under 13 minutes gone. Here they come again. And at the moment. Question of how long Estonia can hold on for. Morgala. Ruda. Looking to line up a shot. Hammers it into his captain, Eric Martel. He's looking for the far corner. It will be a Germany throw. Ball coming off Mihailov last. under the cosh as they say at the moment Germany piling forward wave after wave of attack They've come agonizingly close twice already continue to find plenty of space out on this right side both Morgala and Garuda constantly being fed the ball all in to Mukoko lovely ball to find them as well but just drifted into an offside position there. Looks like it was a close one. And he well spotted by Martin Dardai, I believe. Probably the right decision in the end. Dardai. Playing just his seventh game for the under 21s. Let's so have another look at that superb effort from Mukoko. Super Mukoko, an absolute superstar for the under 21s. Hasn't seen quite as much game time as I'm sure he would have liked this season with Borussia Dortmund. And the second fiddle 
in the uh, majority of the season so far to uh, Niklas Füllkrug, the summer arrival in Werder Bremen. As a result, Koko's name in the mix when it comes to uh, the January transfer window. Of course, Makoko has time and time again said that he is well and truly committed to BBB. That's where he wants to be. Doesn't want to be anywhere else. As he's almost picked out there by Ansgar Knauf. There's a few rumours floating around that Cologne could be interested in his services as some part of a loan deal in January. Whether or not that rumour carries any weight, well, you never know. In terms of getting a, a bit more game time, you would understand the move. The messages coming from the players' camp part. He wants to stay at BBB and fight for his place. Which has always been the message from Yusufa Mokoko, of course. Plenty of clubs around Europe interested in his services in the summer. And Morgala. With what I'm sure was uh, an intended cross into the box, turned into a shot in the end. Looked like it was on target as well. Kaur Kibila in goal, not taking any chances, tips it over the crossbar. Germany with a corner. 17 minutes gone here in uh, Paderborn. Still nil-nil, but it has been one-way traffic for the past 10 minutes or so. And Germany continually knocking on the door. Germany with almost 80% of the uh, ball possession. It just goes to show which team has been on top. Estonia entering forward. On a rare occasion, chance here perhaps. Silama able to get the shot off on the spin. It blocked straight away. As Merlin Roux is fouled by the Estonia captain Polymets. Referee Saki producing a yellow card there. But happy to give the player a warning. Röhl was looking to break away for Germany. Dardai with another lovely ball inside. Just breaking through the lines with a powerful pass along the ground. Garuda off balance as he took the shot on. See what he was trying to do, looking for that top left corner. Falling short in terms of execution there. It certainly hasn't been a slow start this time for Antonio Di Salvo's side. They could and uh, probably should have at least a goal to their name already. Nothing wrong with their level of performance here. It's been a top draw, taking all the boxes apart and finding the back of the net, but still have plenty of time to do that.
again Dada with the ball inside this time Mokoko not offside Finally able to hold on to the ball and second phase here Mokoko tries to get tricky in the box Estonia defending bravely again So for Makoko, showing there just how confident he is when playing for the under 21s. He feels at home with this group of players. And his goal return just underlines that even more so. 11 goals in nine games really is an, an outstanding tally. That is a late challenge there on Rue. to get the shot off as he looks to the referee slightly bemused and perplexed as to why the whistle didn't go it's not a very nice challenge on the rule there it's just in Thomas Tavelli if you ask me he's uh, unfortunate to get away with that one Here's Rue. That's the shot off early, but the offside flag has gone up. It's quite clearly onside. It's a poor decision from the linesman. Morgala. Again with space on this right side. Misunderstanding there with Gruda. It's one back well. Now Gruda will get to the ball. Still Gruda cuts it inside. Fingertip save by Karo Kivila. Superb solo run there from Brian Gruda. And has the vision to pick out Mukoko. Uh, Miss hits it really. Miss hits it with his right, comes off his left, but nearly finds the bottom right corner. It's a good delivery, well defended. Pressure. Jamil Siebert there to make sure he doesn't find the target with the header. Although he'll probably feel he could have done better there. Germany pressing really, really high. Confident they can win the ball back in a promising position time and time again, which has been the case so far. This game has become more and more difficult for Estonia with every minute that passes. It's a decent start from them, but Germany at this stage now really are dictating the pace of this game. And the opponents have spent the majority of it either chasing or watching the ball. Another ball inside from Darda. His distribution has been spot on so far. Piercing balls straight through the middle. Just completely taking care of sometimes one or even two lines of defence on the Estonian side. In the blink of an eye, Germany find themselves in promising attacking positions thanks to his distribution. Martin Dardai has uh, been putting together a real standout performance for me in central defence.
Daniel looks at the left footed effort deflection off Siebert just taking enough pace off of the ball to make it an easy save in the end for Noah to Bolo. with another great ball it's Brown Ansgar Knopf Dink inside, hoping that Makoko would make a little run towards the near post there, but it was not the case. Knauf. What a tackle. Robert Verdi putting his body on the line there. As Germany somehow still don't have a goal here. there from Ansgar Knauf but no one there to latch onto it again in just a few days time on the 21st and they do take on uh, Poland in what should be an absolute cracker uh, a battle between the top two teams here in the group Germany will look to be the first team to take points off the uh, group leaders Poland with four wins from four games. Well and truly, the team to beat. Although Germany have only played two so far. And that will be a free kick. Eric Martel brought down in a promising position here. Quite clearly a foul. Daniel Lutz mistiming the challenge there, a real striker's tackle. And 
Germany with plenty of options here. Mukoko seems to fancy this one though. Merlin Ruhl standing there with him, but would suit the left foot of Yusufa Mukoko. Try and curl it round the outside. The Estonian war is Mukoko. Not a bad effort. Decent save by Kivila. Fair to say he was expecting exactly that. Still, save that had to be made. Germany with the corner. Chance now for the opening goal, and somehow Kivila keeps it out. I'm not sure the keeper knew too much about it. Just sort of dove across to try and close the angle. That was enough. To keep Germany out, Maximilian Bayer, to be precise. Must have thought he'd scored, and how Germany are not in the lead here, I do not know. Could have had three or four easily. Somehow Estonia are desperately hanging on here. Mukoko, still Mukoko on his weaker right foot, and the block taking all the pace off the shot, making it an easy save or making it easy for Carter Kivila to come and collect the ball. a boring nil-nil here it's a, a goalless match so far that has provided plenty of entertainment the middle there was trying to pick out Jamal C but nearly picked off by Silama again Dardai picture perfect pass to, to Morgala Dardai with a misplaced pass. I say that jokingly, of course. He hasn't put a foot wrong so far. Here's another look. Maximilian by an opportunity. 
what a save that is by Kivila. It comes off his face. Courageous goalkeeper. The Estonian number one in between the sticks. Might he be called into action again here? It's Germany. Swing in another corner in towards the near post. Dardai with a, a, high, a high foot. Although it didn't seem to be that high in the end. Place pass there from Merlin Roux. Okay. Makes up for it. And, uh, some clever play there. Well aware the contact was coming in behind him. Once he felt it, was happy to go down. to go until half time still nil nil here somehow Germany with plenty of chances total of 12 attempts only three of them on target though some of those off target hitting the woodwork Estonia throw. To be fair to the visitors from Estonia, they have defended bravely. I think it is fair to say they have been a little fortunate at times as well. And another day could easily find themselves 3 or 4 0 down. They can uh, get into the changing rooms at half time. The game's still at nil nil. They'll feel with a chance of uh, coming away with something here. Now, perhaps Germany with Bayer off the post, and this time it's in. Finally, the woodwork helping Germany out a little. Beautifully placed effort that from uh, Maximilian Bayer with the inside of the right boot a lovely strike and the uh, TSG Hoffenheim front man finds the back of the net for the under 21s for just the second time in his still very young career with this side it's his second goal in his fourth appearance not a bad return at all Germany have broken the deadlock. It's taken them almost 40 minutes to do it. And you can't say they have not deserved it. Now is uh, will the floodgates open? It's very often the case in these sort of situations. That first goal is the one. It is the most difficult to get, but once you do manage to find the back of the net that first time, then 
Other goals quickly follow. Very nearly scoring a second. And there, Germany, another good save from the Estonian keeper. He's kept his side in this game with the help of his post and crossbar as well. Gruda. Tries to feed it in short to Mokoko. Subet does well to win the ball back, though. Keep Germany in possession. with the shot, wicked deflection there, making life difficult for Kibula. Just nicking off his uh, captain Palomets there. In Germany again, and Knauf and Makoko. Quite on the same page there, former teammates at BVB of course. Now perhaps the chance for the second, and Knauf puts it wide. Had to sneak it in the near side there rather than go for the far corner. Bodies in front of him. Perhaps felt the far corner wasn't really an option. Let's go, Knauf. Currently with Eintracht Frankfurt. Does have one goal at under 21 level. This is his 13th appearance for the under 21s this evening. Former BVB youth player alongside Yusuf and Mokoko. So two players that do know each other well. Lovely ball. Uh, Morgala, I think, was trying to centre it. Looks like he took a bit of a whack in the process there. As Kivila came out to try and put pressure on him. Goalkeeper, the uh, Germany right back, crashing into each other. Morgala's efforts just finding the outside of the side netting. was intending to try and score. I think he was trying to centre it for the arriving Yusuf and Mokoko, but difficult under the circumstances with Kibila closing down on it. Mixed emotions for Sander Post, the man in charge of the Estonian under 21 side. Probably slightly nervous and worried with how little of the ball his team has had and how few opportunities they've been able to muster up. But I think he'll be quite pleased that the scoreline is still just 1 0. as unlikely as it seems it does mean his side are still well and truly in this game a 
Martel. On to Gruda. Wants to get it onto his favourite left foot. Shot from distance. Well off target though. From Dardai. Emilio Mbaya got really well taken one as well. Just the one minute added on. That is now up and so too is the first half here in Paderborn. An extremely entertaining first 45 minutes. Antonio De Salvo's side absolutely dominating proceedings and for a while. It looked like it might be one of those days where they just wouldn't be able to find the breakthrough, it did come and it came late to Maximilian Bayer, a very well taken goal could easily be 4 or 5 at this stage but it is just the one for now there's still plenty to look forward to you feel in the second half when Germany will try and get the job done here against Estonia in their third game of the group stage that second half is just around the corner make sure you join us for it in just a bit until then Stay safe and take care.
So, a warm welcome back for the second 45 here in uh, Paderborn, Germany. Well and truly in control. One change, Leandro Morgala making way for Jan Thielmann. Antonio De Salvo deciding to bring on some fresh legs. For the uh, second half here. The first half well and truly dominated by Antonio De Salvo's side. The only downside to it, probably, that they didn't score more than just the one goal. Certainly had the chances to. <laughs> Maximilian Baez, goal in the 39th minute. The only thing separating these two sides at the moment. Estonia, I think, it's fair to say, rather fortunate to still be in this game. Could have easily been a game set and match by half time. Had Germany taken the well, multitude of chances they were able to create, but unable to take. Seabot with the ball over the top. Makoko will chase. Kaur Kivila has probably been the uh, busiest man on the pitch for Estonia here this evening. And two very good saves. One especially world class save. That is bottom left corner to deny the uh, goal scorer, Maximilian Bayer. Nathaniel Brown. And a 1 2 with Bayer. Brown. Nice football this from Germany. Thielmann gets his uh, first bit of action. And replaced Leandro Morgala in that right back position. Young Dilma, player who can play a more attacking role as well. Normally more of a, a midfielder, and a defender, but a right wing back will uh, be able to venture forward as well. In a game like this, where Germany are spending the majority of their time in the opponent's half, he's almost in a midfield position as a right wing back anyway. Gruda still on the ball here. And Makoko trying to find a way through a very crowded edge of the box. All put out of play. Germany throw. Tillman, by the way, making his eighth appearance. And come on now for the second half of the under 21 side. the Cologne man now coming inside apologies was actually Gruda there coming in on his left foot decided against taking the shot on Germany still on the ball and still uh, looking for a way through so nothing's really changed Germany picking up where they left off really inside to Rull to get a ball into the middle Estonia struggling to clear their lines at the moment. The dink inside, misunderstanding between goalkeeper and defender there, but Estonia getting away with it. Germany getting the ball back into play as quickly as possible. There's Eric Martel to Mukoko. Loves just dropping into that area on the edge of the box to come and get involved. Into the middle now towards the back post, Ansgar Knauf arriving at just the right time but can't come up with the finish. 
difficult one on the volley with the inside of the right foot Trying to play it back across goal as well to get in front of the defender there but didn't quite make the contact he was looking for came off his shin rather than the boots with the way things have gone and are still going you do expect Germany to score a second at least at this rate there is Martel again misplaced past that time it's a nice ball forward but to keep the ball in play. Makoko, heavy first touch. So see uh, Jan Tilma in a very advanced position there, obviously. Given the chance to do that, Ansgar Knauf trying to pick out Mukoko, who just couldn't get the shot off, put under just enough pressure there. Picked off by Dardai, a lovely through ball. And Mukoko just can't get a boot to the ball. Germany will have the corner though. And it's Siebert with the header, a similar opportunity in the first half. Unable to find the target then. Almost a carbon copy of it that time there as well. able to get there ahead of Leoke the Germany throw so just another reminder Germany in action again in four days time on the 21st in the uh, match of the group stage so far they take on Poland in Germany, so we'll be at home. And the end of it all could be a very, very important game as well in terms of who finishes top of the group. Makoko! Of course, he gets his name on the score sheet as well. Scrappy stuff at the back from Estonia and Mokoko there to punish them and punish them quickly. Let's have another look at it here. Oh, Estonia getting it all sorts of wrong there. Type of mistake you can't be making when you have a poacher like Mokoko. Just lurking and waiting for any sort of an opportunity. And once it came his way, there was only ever going to be one outcome. Mokoko now with his 12th goal at under-21 level. This is sensational. Tally just continues to become more and more impressive. Germany 2, Estonia 0. And then number 9 at it again. No free kick, says the referee. Certainly looked like a push on Gruder there. And, uh, that will be the uh, corner. Uh, 
rare opportunity for the visitors now to try and test the German defence who've had very little to do here in Paderborn this evening. Crossing towards the near post, headed away by Thielmann. Gruder will try and get there and does. And keeps the ball in play brilliantly. Gruder. Well, hacked down there. That will surely be a booking. Mihailov, the guilty party. A reckless challenge on Gruder. Only really had one thing in mind, and that was stopping the player. You won't see a, a more clear cut yellow card. Than that from Nikita Mihailov. Brilliant play from Gruda. Delivery from Bayer, a little low, unable to get it past the first man. Germany will look to keep the pressure on with the throw in deep inside. And Estonia half, who it would seem are ready to make not one but two changes. Looks like Daniel Kuraksin will be coming on to re replace Lioke. Alexander. Sapobolov will uh, be joining him. And Ramol Silama making way. Well, Estonia's number nine now. Chance here. Well, the number nine to make an immediate impact, but well defended by Germany. Sieber does really well. And able to pick out Gruder. Ships it out wide to Knauf. Lovely first touch. Still Knauf looking to get the shot off. One touch too many. Frankfurt winger had one or two opportunities to pull the trigger there, but decided to hold on to it. And now that Germany have that second goal, you struggle to see a way back into this. For Estonia. It's been a tough night for their youngsters. Probably uh, a good learning experience. Thielmann cuts it back. Makoko looking for a second. Shot blocked. Great effort from Eric Martel. As he uh, looked to send it into the top right corner. Estonia's number one performer here tonight. Kibila in goal, called into action, and again comes up with the goods. Drop of the shoulder there from Thielmann. 
takes care of the oncoming threat. Goku to Bayer. Gruda and towards Knauf. Keeps the ball in play, or does he? Flag has gone up, it will be a corner. There's another look at that Martel effort. Relatively easy save in the end. Oh, Kivila and it was positioned well for it. Rudo with the delivery and towards the near posts. Zavrul who tried to flick it on. Germany can hold on to the ball though. If only for a moment. Have it again. Estonia really struggling to hold on to the ball. And when they have it, get out of their own half. They're being pegged back inside their own. in goal who has been really good perhaps just needs to hold on to the ball and give his teammates a bit of a breather he's so eager to get it forward every time he does get his hands on it but in doing so he's continually just gifted it back to Germany to Gruda. Arul, now Mukoko. Still Mukoko. And Eric Martel straight down the middle. Either side of the keeper. That might have been 3-0. Over an hour gone here in Paderborn. Germany with a two goal cushion. Lutz on the receiving end there. It's Germany now. All right, make some changes of their own. Reitz coming on to replace Merlin Röhl. Right, the Borussia Mönchengladbach player making his under-21 debut. And Nick Voltemader from Werder Bremen and to make just his third appearance for the under-21s. Has played a part in the other two group stage games so far. Has been effective every time he's come on as well. A chance here. And Estonia have a goal. Well, well, well. I don't think anyone saw that coming. There's Daniel uh, Kuraksin, the substitute. Has uh, caught everyone by surprise here. It's the two substitutes combining. Sapovalov with the through ball. Daniel Kuraksin, a fine finish, does well with his first two touches to take it inside, away from any sort of a defensive threat. And then Kuli puts it past Germany's goalkeeper. And just like that, Estonia pegging one back. 2-1 now the score. Real chance they've had and they've taken it. It's 
given them something to work on, or work with, should I say. Germany with the corner. They do have Voltemar as an option in the middle now. There is Voltemar with the header, but can't guide it towards the goal. Instead, puts it up and over. Difficult one. I mean, just behind him there. It's a well taken goal by Kuraksin. And a post. Senses an opportunity, probably for the first time. Nick Voltemar replacing the uh, scorer of the opening goal, Maximilian Bayer, by the way. Daniel uh, Kuraksi. Estonia's second goal of the group stage. Gruda. Daniel Brown in the end will be Estonia throw deep inside their own half though. Germany corner. That Estonia goal certainly has just slowed things down a little bit. Not quite the energy from uh, Germany up until conceding it. Dardai back out to Gruda. Still Gruda goes down. And uh, we'll see uh, a yellow card for diving. Interesting to see this again in the replay. <laughs> I tell you what, Daniel Lutz puts a right leg in there. That is their contact though. The yellow card is a little harsh on Brian Gruda. Well, that might be contact there, you know.
Sunny Arasaki had a decision to make there. He was very quick to show Gruda the yellow card. So not clearly not convinced. Makoko. Knauf lays it up for Voltemada. Sees his shot blocked. Wright tries to pick up the pieces. He's back to Voltemada again. And Makoko tries to get one off on his right foot this time. That one blocked as well. It's been the story of the night for him apart from his goal. Wright. Ruda now with the shot. Estonia simply getting as many bodies in front of the ball as possible. To try and keep Germany out. And keep the game at just a one goal. Difference here. Well, Gruda is uh, going to be coming off now. Tim Lempele will uh, come on to replace him. Reuter Fürt player has one goal already for the under-21s coming in the group stage. This is sixth appearance at this level. Brasiliev coming off or coming on to replace Daniel Lutz. Excuse me. minutes and some change still to go here in Paderborn and that goal has just not quite put thrown a spanner in the works but breaks on Germany a little and they are still the team they look more likely in terms of scoring the next goal but side flag up there Daniel Kuratsin just setting off a little early Tomada just about gets it out wide to Tillman. Ball in, doesn't quite make its way to Mukoko. keeping the ball still thinking about it eventually let's give it back and 
Pele with the layoff. Now Rocco Wright. His under 21 debut. Wright just one of two players in the squad for this game. Yet to make an appearance for the under 21s before kickoff. The other, Felix Gebhardt, the Regensburg goalkeeper on the bench here. away to uh, Mokoko and gives away the free kick <laughs> although the defender does go down rather easily there actually the midfielder excuse me Tristan Tumas Tiveli looks like Kivila there's a bit of a problem here Crashing into his own play as he came to punch the ball away from danger. He's caught in the right side of the rib cage. It looks more like a hip problem. Matthias Lagos as the backup goalkeeper, should he be needed. Looks like Kibala is going to be all right to continue. Tomada does well under pressure there. The Germany throw. As things stand, Germany will close that gap to just three points on Group D leaders Poland. Germany will have a game in hand as well. Those two playing against each other in just four days' time. Bulgaria currently sit in third, having played five games already with six points. Kosovo just behind them on five, also with five games. This Estonia's fifth game of the group stage so far. So things not looking too good for them. Still without a win, just one draw to their name. Bottom of the group. Israel. But they too want to play the same amount of games, having just played two so far. A number of their games postponed due to the unrest in the region. to Bolo. Takes a bit of a chance there. Thankfully, Estonia unable to do much with the ball. 
most convincing of clearances from Atubolu. Hasn't had a lot to do tonight. Tries to uh, win the corner. Oh, just wouldn't run out of play for him, though. Start Germany in possession as Martel sends the ball in, and now they will have that corner. It's like a bit of a cramp. Coming on for Estonia's number five, Daniel uh, Sotsugov. Let's give us a chance to have a. Another look at that Yusufa Mukoko goal. As well as the uh, reply from Daniel uh, Kuraksin in the 64th minute. And Mukoko again sees a shot blocked. How many? As he fired into a crowd. Estonia defenders. And visitors will have a free kick here. It's Rocco Wright. Gives away the foul. And time ticking away. It's a, an opportunity for them to swing the ball into the box. They've taken it quickly here. Thankfully, the delivery is no good. From the goal scorer, Karaksin. I'm sure that was the best option, really. Plenty of time to get players forward into the box, try and get a good delivery in there. Defensively, have been really good aerially. But perhaps put that into good use going forward. A bit of a wasted opportunity, and I think the reaction from Sander Post would suggest he agrees. Caught in possession. Karaksin gets the shot off, and it's a, a good save from Artu Bolu. Ball nearly got away from him. So Povolov was there, hoping for an easy tap in. Thankfully, Artu Bolu eventually getting his a good grasp of the ball there. Nearly just bobbled away from him and into the path of the Estonia number nine. Lempola inside to Knauf, just can't control it, does well to win it back. Voltamada, right back inside to Voltamada, and selfishly tries to bring Makoko into play. Thought for a moment he might take the shot on himself there. Brown inside to Voltamada again to Makoko. That's twice Voltamada because it could have easily. A shot at goal.
put out of play by Siebert. at all Kodak's in Kodak's in I should say by Siebert. ball over the top to find Lempola Maltamada right to Thielman up inside here is Reitz and he's got a goal on his debut Rocco Reitz makes it 3-1 in the uh, final stages of this game The third goal comes from the debutants. Good control as it came in at him with a real pace from uh, Thielman. One touch to steady himself, takes a bit of a deflection. It's unfortunate. The Estonia goalkeeper he was positioned well, but the deflection just taking it off to his left. What a night for Rocco Reitz. Comes off the bench and gets his name on the score sheet in his first appearance for Antonio De Salvo's under 21 side. Order is restored. Vidas, number 23, and for Estonia in the meantime for these final minutes. Here comes Mokoko now as Germany break free. Lempole across the middle, tries to lay it up for Ansgar Knauf. Nicked away in the nick of time by Christo Husa. Germany take the corner short. Knauf. Altamada thinks it towards the back post. Brought down by Mokoko. Flag up against the number nine. No. So, uh, Bright REMB. Will uh, come on for Dardai. 90 minutes are up. Probably about three to four minutes of stoppage time to be added on here. Looks like it's going to be five. <laughs> Even uh, with five minutes still to go, it certainly looks like Germany have uh, 
Able to get the job done here. The first home game of the group stage. Looks a to end in victory. Might they yet add to their tally in terms of goals here tonight. would seem they have in terms of points. Not a bad delivery from Ansgar Knauf, but only really Yusufa Mokoko in the box. Placed ball there from Voltamada. Siebert does well to intercept the pass. Picked off by Lempole. Makoko. Don't touch too many. in the back of Eric Martel and see Germany have a free kick just inside the opponent's half the second half hasn't been quite as electric as the first still entertaining Produced more goals, one of them coming unexpectedly from Estonia. There's that effort by Alexander Sapovalov that goes well wide. It's a win that Germany have thoroughly deserved. Over the 90 minutes, still well over 70% of the ball possession going their way, 76 to be precise, as things stand right now. 37 shots, 10 of which were on target, 13 off target, 14 of them blocked, 13 of those probably coming from Mokoko. Oh, tries to keep it alive. Voltamada desperately trying to get the shot off. What a save! And it's a double for Rocco Wrights. Well, well, well. An already brilliant night has just become that little bit better for the debutant. And you can see. Just how happy his teammates are for him. Absolute confusion in the box for a moment. Everyone trying to get a shot off. So a really good save from Estonia's keeper again. He could do nothing about uh, the follow-up. And uh, Rocco writes. The Borussia Mönchengladbach midfielder on his debut with a brace. And there it is, another stellar performance from Antonio Di Salvo's side. Final score, Germany 4, Estonia 1. They uh, had to work hard for their goals. The uh, first uh, coming late 
in the first 45, Maximilian Bayer. Getting Germany off of the mark. Mokoko then, not long after half time, getting his name on the score sheet yet again for his 12th goal at under 21 level. And then it was time for the debutant, Rocco Wright, to bag himself a brace late on in the second half after coming off the bench to do so. Estonia able to get a goal on the board as well, but it wasn't enough. And in the end, Germany deserving winners as they add another three points to their tally. It's maximum points for Germany's under-21 side in the group stage as they take their tally to nine to keep the pressure on Poland, who they take on in four days' time in a battle for top spot, with everyone looking to qualify for the Euros in Slovakia in 2025. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for joining us as always. And until next time, stay safe and as always, take care.